I again. was really surprised about it. You were surprised. Yeah, because you slipped the tongue, and I was that like, is, that's so that's weird. That's true. That, that is, is so a lie. Weird. I never fringe, French on set. That's my own personal rule. No Frenching no on Frenching. set. Don't tell the kids. I am not answering this question. <laughs> you would have tried to pull my braids, and I would have punched you in the face. Do you ever get sick of me? This is, this safe is space. a safe space. Safe space. Safe space. Good try, E.T. Hey there, I'm Kelly. And I'm Mark. And we are spilling the... E.T. We've been married 27 years. Mm-hmm. But think way back. What do you remember about our first kiss? Oh, my gosh. <sighs> I think it, I mean, I remember it being very rehearsed because it was an on-camera kiss. That's right. This is the, probably the toughest thing I've ever had to do, especially with her. Did you see what she looks like? It's a really hard job, yeah, but are. somebody's got to kiss his mouth. Oh, I get paid to make I mean. out with the most Not gorgeous guy on television. Yeah, like, like. But for an on-camera kiss, did it have a little bit more of a zing? I mean, I didn't mind it at all. Right. I really, you know, I, but I, I again, was really surprised about it. You were surprised? Yeah, because you slipped the tongue, and I was that like, is that's so not weird. True. That, that is, is so a lie. Weird. That's a but lie. But it was the 90s, so it was fast and loose that's back then. That's such a lie. Big tongue. That's a lie. That is such a lie. I never fringe French on set. That's my own personal rule. No Frenching no on Frenchy. set. We uh, went from part-time, <laughs> long distance, back mm. when you were in Vancouver, to working together. Be honest. Do you ever feel like we have too much together time? Do you ever get sick of me? This is, safe this is space. a safe space, safe space, safe space to say what you want. I hated being far apart from you. Aww. Hated it. It wasn't great. I think that people think that we're on top of each other all day. We see each other for a few hours in the morning. And oftentimes we don't see each other till dinner time yeah. nowadays. Because mm -hmm. we have both are off doing different things. So I don't think it's, you know, too much time. There's no such thing. I don't think so either. What is something we've done that we've never told the kids about? I'm trying to think. That's a good one. I, I, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, they're always they, there's so many things they that they're never gonna know about. I mean, they're never going to know. I know, but I feel like everything we did, like that they shouldn't know about, we did before they arrived and ruined the party. That's right. You know what I mean? Right. Like we did all kinds of things before. Good they try, ET. <laughs> good try. What's the best part of being an empty nester? I wouldn't know because we have our kids living with us all the time. There's one, one leaves, one comes back. It's so true. <laughs> no, um, I think the best part is that, you know, we got married early and we had kids right off the bat. Like we, a year later, a year and a half, yeah. year and a half later, we, we had Michael. So I think it's, you know, getting to spend some time together and do the things that that we didn't really get to do. Yeah, when couples couple. are like married for like yeah. eight years or something yeah. before they have kids. Like they we like... went on, like last June, we went on a vacation without the kids because they all had stuff to do. That was amazing. And we just went, just the two of us. Yes. It was great. We sat on benches and watched the sunset. It was amazing. It was great. Yeah, that was our favorite vacation. Yeah. Don't tell the kids. Yeah. We kept, say, we kept saying, don't tell the kids. And we missed them for like a couple days, but then we just would do things that we wanted to do that we knew that they were going to complain, up, about. complain about. Yeah, it was incredible. Yeah. yeah. Okay, what do you consider my most annoying trait or habit? Immunity, safe space. Oh, I am not answering this question. <laughs> Everyone has been talking about the era they're in. The bitch era, the hot girl summer era. <laughs> The revenge era. Yeah. What is your era? Oh my gosh. I think I'm just in the relaxed era. I'm mm. super relaxed. Um, I don't know if it's you being here or if it's just comes with age or a certain level of uh, easy easiness we have with each other, but I'm very relaxed. I think it's the it's the, probably the first time I've ever been completely relaxed doing anything ever. We've been married for 27 years, but what is the one thing you have never told me? And tell me now here on ET. Spill the tea. Immunity? Immunity. Complete immunity. Complete immunity. Okay, here's something weird. Um, when I was thinking about things I wanted to do as a career, as a young kid. Before you met me. Before I met you. I thought I wanted to be a meteorologist. 
makes so much sense. This is surprising no one. This makes so much Why? sense. Because you are fixated on the weather. Yes, I am. You are constantly giving me weather updates. Yeah, it is gonna be hot. Yeah. There's a yeah. blistering late season heat wave baking the eastern United States. You talk about uh, cold fronts and low pressure yes. points. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See? We should get you one of those weather walls at home to play Ooh. with. Yeah. That sounds something. Your turn. Um, okay, what is something you still want to do as a couple that we haven't done? Well, I think what we want to do as a couple are two separate things. Because okay. I want to I wanna climb, like, I want to either climb K2 or Everest, and I don't think you want to do that. Right. I don't want to do that. Right. Um, how about a safari? We could do that. You want to do that? Yeah. You'd like to do that, do right? Do that, yeah. You want to do like a big trail? Like we could do a hike, like do like a month long hiking trail? Yeah, but yes, I would like to do that. But, but just that's... not up a mountain. Like not, not up, up not up where people die. Right. You don't think you'll make it? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. I'm claustrophobic okay, got it. and got it. it seems weird. But okay, got it. You yeah. think it's claustrophobic I think it'd be up there. Yeah, you just can't, you just can't get out of there. Okay, so no mountain adventures for Kelly and Mark anytime soon, but it's not like they have time anyways. They just kicked off season 36 of Live. It's Mark's first season as Kelly's full-time co-host, which means they got to show off the show's new open. Do you get nervous before a new season? Ooh. And how do you get over the nerves? Nerves, um, I always get nervous before every show. You do. Every show I get nervous. Um, I breathe, I look in your beautiful eyes. Aww. And I grab your arm and you grab mine and we go out there and it's all, it, and it's, you know, it's better. What would happen to you if you didn't get nervous? Oh gosh, I'd probably be doing the wrong thing. Huh? I like to be a little nervous in the things that I love to do. What surprised you most about co-hosting with me? I think what surprised me the most is to learn that you don't wear underwear backstage. Just kidding, just kidding. I think uh, what actually surprised me is that you are, uh, you were able to make this show your own in such a short amount of time. Oh. Yeah, that surprised cool. me. I don't know why, but it really did. Who is the number one person on your bucket list for us to interview? Ooh, gosh, uh, right now, I would say it would be Lionel Messi. Okay. He's tearing it up in the United States. I'm so happy that he came to play here in our country. He's, a, he's just magic. The, he's, he's captured the imagination of the sports world, the entertainment world. People, are, all kinds of people are going to see him. Tickets, stadiums are sold out. I would love to have him on the show. Okay. We should get on that. We are. And or Beckham. We're on it? Okay. And Beckham as well. And Beckham, a two-parter. A two-parter. Yes, my dream and Mark's dream. <laughs> if Mark's, when Mark's dream met Kelly's dream. <laughs> what is something that you've always wanted to ask me? Do you think if we met in like middle school and fell in love that we would be married today? Yes, 100%. Same. Yeah, I think about that all the time. Would you beat me up? 100%. Yeah, I, I would have pulled your You would have tried to pull my braids and I would have punched you in the face and then we'd be together forever. Oh, I, I mean, that. this is, you know, back when kids used to run. All right, and, and what is something you always wanted to ask me? Something I always wanted to ask you. How much do you think I weigh? <laughs> 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 no, you don't ask me that. Um, uh, something, uh, Oh, I want you to ask, oh, I know. I want you to ask me, but not right now, because right now I'm working, so I'm like doing things. But sometimes I want you to ask me what I'm thinking about. Oh, okay. Because you, know, you ever notice how I always ask you, what are you thinking about? Okay. And, and you give me an answer? Yeah. You never ask me back what I'm thinking about. Because I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> scared of what? No, the I'm answer? not scared. No, I'm not scared. I okay, want I'll you to that. ask me what I'm I'll thinking about. I'll do that. About. I'll do that. Yeah. All right. That's it? How'd we do? That was awesome. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>